In this video, we're going to take a look at again how to um, uh, analyze data a little bit more that we've that we've already uh, created in, in a graph. Um, and in this case, we're going to look at creating a linear regression. Um, you can see I already have my graph established here. And again, this is an XY scatter graph um, because we're looking at how the uh, molarity of a solution affects the mass, uh, the change in mass of some different substances. And so I've got, this would be 0 molar, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and 0 0.1 uh, different molarity solutions. And I'm looking at seeing how these different um, d different molarities affect the overall change in mass of an object uh, in this experiment. Um, when you're making an XY scatter graph, um, it's important to ensure that your x-axis, so my x-axis values I've obtained from right here, it's, it's selecting from this row, um, and this will work and they'll show up here how I want as long as these values are numerical only. Um, if I were to put uh, m next to one of these for molar, uh, it would not graph these in, in the numerical value that I want. So it's important to remember that these must be numerical values, um, both, both the x and the y, uh, the vertical um, axis labels. Uh, so I've got my graph here and I want to go ahead and insert uh, a line of linear regression. And what this is going to show me um, or provide is, is a straight linear line here that um, allows us to look at this data a little bit more closely. So to do that, uh, I'm going to click on the data points and I can right click on these data points and go to um, add trend line, uh, which we'll do in this case. I also have the option uh, to go up here in this version of Excel to click on chart layout and they, there's uh, an option right here for trend line. We'll go ahead and right click on these and go to add trend line and you'll be able to see different types here. I've got linear, logarithmic, uh, polynomial, which I, which I explained in a, another video. Um, we're going to do linear for this case. I'm going to go ahead and insert this. And what you see here is this linear line. And this is basically drawing a line um, based off of our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 data points. It's drawing a line between um, or, or estimating between all of them. And with this, uh, this line that we've created here, we can, we can deduce a couple of different things. Um, one, by looking at where it crosses the x-axis. So here's our x-axis. By looking at where this line crosses the x-axis, um, we could see what molarity um, would basically cause no percent change. Um, uh, so if, for example, if this was, uh, I believe this was um, potato put into a, uh, a sugar solution, um, we could get an idea or a sense of what, at what molarity uh, or what amount of sugar is both uh, equal inside and outside uh, in order to create dynamic equilibrium. And it looks like it'd be around uh, 0 0.3 maybe three molar just based off of that. So we can, we can deduce that information. We can also use this to uh, determine correlation to see um, how closely related, potentially, the molarity is dependent on uh, the percent change. Um, it's important to keep in mind that correlation tests are merely suggesting a correlation. Uh, it's not guaranteeing a correlation, it's merely suggesting a correlation. But it is an interesting piece of data that you can use to kind of help analyze your overall graph. And so, in order to add that, um, I'm going to, going to go up here and click on the uh, trend line and click trend line options. And under the options menu uh, right here, um, I can display uh, the equation on the chart. So here's our equation right now. And I can also display the R squared value. Uh, and for our purposes, we really just need the R squared value. And that's, that's what's suggesting or showing uh, the degree of correlation. Remember, that's uh, measured on a 0 to 1 scale. Um, also, similar to the polynomial regression line, if I want to forecast uh, forward and backward, I can do so. Um, and I can extend this line based off of the equation and, and the information that's drawn from our data points. We can extend that further, uh, farther forward and then backward as well. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll just do this two data points here. We can kind of get an estimate of how this line would, would look if it was extended further uh, or backwards. But I'm going to delete those because in this case we're on a scale of 0 to, to 1 molarity, so it's not really beneficial to do that in this case. Um, that's overall how to create a uh, linear line of regression uh, and to add an R-squared value um, for our correlation analysis.